not having social media changed my life dramatically. Um, I have had social media, I think, like everybody else since their early teens. I think I was like 13, maybe, no, I think I was thir 13 years old. Um, you know, Facebook, TikTok, not TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and now there's TikTok and other social medias. But um, I, last year in March, March of 2023, I decided that I was just gonna try to do no social media and just see what it would feel like. I honestly thought I would miss it a lot because that is always what I would go to. Like I would wake up in the morning, pull my phone up and just start scrolling. Or when I, whenever I was bored, pull out my phone, start scrolling. Um, or even when, we were, when I was out in public, um, and it felt awkward and I didn't know what to do. Like say I was waiting in line at a store, I would pull out my phone. Um, and it just really was getting to a point where I was thinking like, wow, how is it that I'm at a store and I just feel uncomfortable? So I have to pull out my phone to stay busy or do something and not make myself feel awkward. It's just making me feel less social. Um, and just not good overall. And it was just like it was consuming all my time really. Um, if I turned on my screen time, it was shocking to see how much time I actually spent on my phone just like scrolling when I could be doing other things. And I never really thought how much of an influence it had, but as I really started thinking about it, I was like, there's a lot of, negatives not bad negatives but negatives that takes your time away and then also doesn't really allow you to really focus on your goals i mean not saying that if you have social media you can't focus on your goals obviously this is different for everybody but i'm talking from my experience i just felt like being on social media even if i didn't post or anything just scrolling through people's um lives and stuff it's just really felt like there really was no true purpose in it necessarily. Um, and I just feel like I could be using my time in other places and not just scrolling and scrolling. But when I deleted my social media in March, um, like I said earlier, I thought I was gonna miss it and I felt like I was gonna given and have to get social media again that month went by and it was kind of interesting because it just felt like so like a sense of calming for i don't know how to explain it it just really felt like a sense of calm in my head my head felt like i could think like it was clear um i really don't know what it was i know it's probably me just not cluttering all my my mind with all of these thousand things you know when you're scrolling like on TikTok, it's one thing and another thing and another thing and another thing and it's just an ongoing thing and your mind's just getting all these things put in your mind and um just not allowing your mind to rest and so i really did feel calm and i started to really like that and then as i was feeling calm and not being on my phone i started going on more walks and i started listening to podcasts I started doing things that I actually liked to do, that I wanted to do before, but I felt like I had no time for. And all of a sudden, I delete social media, and now I'm going on walks and listening to podcasts, and I'm able to read my books and really enjoy them. I mean, I couldn't tell you, I think the most I've ever read is like one book in a whole year, and that's because of some sort of school requirement not out of my own will of just wanting to read a book. Um, and now I have the time to like just sit down and I'm just gonna read this book or I'm just gonna go on a walk. I'm just gonna do whatever it is, you know? Um, and I also felt like it helped in the sense of group thinking. What I, what I mean by group thinking is like, 
when you see social media, you see so many people's um, beliefs and perceptions, which is good. But at the same time, you could be influenced by that and not necessarily think for yourself, but just start taking in what other people are saying and making that your belief instead of allowing yourself to really think for yourself. And so I just felt like not having the social media has really allowed myself to do my own thinking. Not that I didn't do my own thinking before, you, you know what I'm getting at, right? But it just really allowed me to indulge in myself, feel myself, make my brain clear and just allow myself to do what it's meant to do think for itself and I think it just it sounds kind of like a silly concept because you know you think well I always think my own thoughts but when you have so much information just being blown at you you come to a point where it's hard to distinguish what's really your thoughts or what's really being major thoughts by all this information coming at you. It's kind of like it gets skewed. Um, so it's really been such an amazing time for me personally. I honestly do not miss social media. Um, I also felt like there is a sense of connection that you feel with on social media and I think it's why a lot of people have social media and why they like it and strive on it not strive I would say but why they keep feeding into it is because they get some sort of gratification they post a picture they get likes they get comments you know they feel that gratification from those moments where people reach out or like this picture but the sad thing is this you could get that in real life but people are so not people but we are turning such into a digital non-contact world and I feel like that's the only way that they're getting human contact instead of real human contact um, and so I feel like fo you follow personally for me I follow all these people yes of course I went to school with them you know grade school middle school and high school and now we're adults and I still follow follow them from high school you know their lives and it's cool to see you know what they're up to and what's going on but then I got to thinking like wow like I literally have not talked to this person since what like sophomore year freshman year even senior year that's already like what five years ago it's like why am I still following this person but in myself it feels like I have some sort of connection to the person because I have been following them for this many years and I've grown an attachment, you could say, and it's just really weird, you know? So, it's so many things that have I've been thinking about before I actually quit social media. Um, and I don't even know how unnecessarily I became aware of it. I just started to feel like I was trying to self-evaluate one year um, where I was feeling very depressed. I didn't know why, just very sad, depressed. And this was like last year. And I'm like, why do I feel sad? Why do I feel like all of these negative thinkings? And um, I just came to realize like I need to do things that make me happy, that make me feel calm. And I realized that social media does not make me feel calm all the time. Sometimes it makes me feel worse. Like, yes, it's good in that meantime where you feel stressed, hop on social media real quick, you you get distracted, whatnot. But once you get off social media, like, everything is still there. Like, nothing's gone away. You might have gone away from your life for, what, 10, 15 minutes while you're scrolling, but it's still there and it doesn't fix anything. Obviously, social media has its own perks. It's good for different things. It's good for learning stuff. Like, I still have TikTok because I like to, not because I follow anyone on it, but I like TikTok because it has a lot of ideas, like cooking, and I like to follow a lot of cooking recipes and things like that. But I keep it to a limit. I don't follow anyone on TikTok like you would on Instagram or anything like that. It's clearly just for 
things like that. I've had more time to do things that I actually love and it's actually made time for me to figure out what is it that I like to do besides work and school or you know doing chores at home. What other things do I like? I feel like you just focus on important things in your life. You just focus on important things in your life, things that really matter and you truly treasure those people around me, around yourself and you really and you all, it also helps to realize who your true friends are because you don't need social media to stay connected and at one point I did feel that way like well if I don't have social media I won't be connected to these people but the truth is like if they're your real friends you can have their number on text you could just text them and I came to realize once I took all the social media out that all my close friends I have them on text I can reach out to them and I actually text them more now because before I felt some sort of connection that before I had my best friends, you know, on social media and me liking their pictures, commenting on their pictures felt like that was a reach out, you know, and it is, but I think it's more personal to actually send a message out to them. And I don't know, it's just overall, I am just so happy with the decision that I haven't had social media. It's been 10 months now and i don't have a desire for it i don't have a need for it and i just been feeling really good i feel like my brain is not foggy if that makes sense i usually struggle with like seasonal depression and this winter i mean we're in january but i have felt really good like this is probably the best year that i've felt and it's just really crazy to think that social media could be influencing myself well influencing my health and my mental health that much and yeah you got to do what's best for you i'm not saying everybody needs to delete their social media or you need to delete delete your social media but i definitely think it's a good um idea to self-evaluate and see is social media impacting your life in some sort of way um so those are my thoughts i just wanted to kind of put it out there and just tell you guys how social media has changed my life because honestly it has been truly a big life changer and i know it could be for so many others um but everyone's so used to having social media it's part of our norm it's like we eat you know we go on social media same thing but it really is not normal, you know? It's something that we've created as humans and have implemented it into our lives. And, you know, we weren't born to live on social media. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts. And I don't wanna say stopping my social media, like I said, has made me realize what my goals are. Um, I've always wanted to make YouTube videos and I've have made videos in the past but I've never been consistent enough to where I keep making videos and it's because I felt like I never had time and now that I don't have those other social media platforms I've actually been able to focus in my time on making videos and I really hope I can keep uploading and just record my life and just things that I'm interested in things that um, make me happy and things that I want to share and so Thanks for listening to my video guys. I am super appreciative. This is a new year and I hope to bring new videos and vlogs and just everything and thank you guys for listening. Bye.